Hello family, grace to you. This is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. Today I want to talk about marriage, specifically to the husbands, about how to be a husband, how to be a head of the household in a godly marriage. Now this is going to be a three-part message, so guys I want you to bear with me. I'm probably going to take this message in a direction that you've never gone before. So bear with me. First of all, I want to make a statement, and that statement is, if the Spirit of God is allowed to rule and reign in your marriage, there's absolutely zero possibility of divorce, separation, split-ups of any kind. Now, I didn't say that you wouldn't have issues. Every marriage has issues that need to be worked out, need to be ironed out. But in terms of separations, divorce, once again, if the Spirit of God is allowed to rule and reign in your household, in your marriage, there should be zero possibility of split-ups or divorce. Okay, well, you may say, well, what do, exactly does that mean to allow the Spirit of God to rule and reign in your marriage? Well, what I mean by that is taking your eyes off your wife as a priority and placing them on God as your priority. Matthew 6.33 says to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. In the scripture these things meaning food, drink, clothing, your material needs of life will be added unto you. I believe that we can use that same principle where our marriage is concerned. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and a prosperous marriage will be added unto you. So again, specifically how do you place God first when it comes to your marital situation? Well let me first off answer that by saying that we as New Covenant believers are not under the law of Moses. We're no longer under the law or the Ten Commandments. We are under no obligation to obey the Ten Commandments. Now that might come to a shock to you, but I've got great news. We are under a higher law. The higher law that we are under will cover the Ten Commandments and then some. We are under the law of love. John 13, 34, and 35 says a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, because you have loved one to another. Now if I operate in love, I've got the Ten Commandments covered. I won't kill, I won't steal, I won't commit adultery because I am under the law of love. I'm committed to love, therefore the Ten Commandments will be covered and then some. So with that being said, using that same principle, husbands, if you operate under the higher law of pleasing God first, you will please your wife. You will be gentle with her. You will provide for her. You will do all the things that is specified for a husband to do in the, in the Word of God. So husbands, I encourage you to take your eyes off your wife if you're working night and day to try to please her and you're getting discouraged if you're failing left and right. I would encourage you to take your eyes off your wife, place your eyes on God, please God. By pleasing God, by operating in the law of love where God is concerned, you will treat his daughter as royalty. You will treat his daughter like she deserves to be treated. Now, as I say, this is a three-part series. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm going to get into situations where husbands, you don't feel that you're being treated fairly and justly. I'm going to get into how to love her and how to get her to respond to you. But the key, this first installment holds the key. Place God first. Love God and your wife will love you. 
Thanks again, family, for being with me. Please go to our website, subscribe to our mailing list if you haven't done so already. I would encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be notified when new videos are posted to the blog. Husbands, your marriage may look impossible at this point, but I'd like to leave you with a question. And that question is, is anything impossible with God? Place God first place in your life and your marriage will be sweet. I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.